Hello and welcome. This is Microsoft Flight Simulator and this is the Phoenix Airbus A320. We are on the ILS flying an approach into beautiful Auckland in New Zealand and in a few moments we will be putting down the gear. Now you may think this is nothing spectacular but what you probably don't know is when you move this lever from up to down a lot of things actually happen and yes the A320 will wiggle its nose wheel. So let's look at that. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's put the gear down and we can hear the usual sounds. You can see the unlock up here in red and the aircraft will show us here the positioning of everything, the gear doors and once everything is locked you have everything in green. Now, you may have noticed this movement here. You see this? It's going up and down. And this is the first sign that something is happening behind the scenes. So let's talk about this for a bit. Okay, we are flying along and the gear is coming down. So what is the aircraft actually doing? Well, the aircraft, first of all, checks if the braking system is fully functional and it's not happy with just checking the braking system but as you probably remember we've discussed this before the aircraft also has an alternate braking system so if the main system fails you have an alternate system that the aircraft can use to bring the aircraft to a stop so what's happening and this is why you saw this fluctuation in the pressure gauge the aircraft actually pressurizes the alternate braking system when the gear comes down and sees if there's pressure in the system. If there isn't, you will get a warning. Because that means that you have no backup to the normal brakes. The normal brakes are working fine, but that's not good enough. We want to make sure that both the normal braking system and the alternate braking system are both working so that we always have a backup in place. So that's the first thing that happens when you put the gear down. So what's with the nose wiggling I was referring to? Well, we don't just only want to brake, we also want to steer the aircraft. And so what's happening is when the landing gear comes down, the aircraft actually performs a quick test of the nose wheel steering. And it turns the nose wheel slightly to the left and then slightly to the right. I always think of it as the aircraft going, I can turn left, I can turn right, okay, we're good to go. So again, if that test would fail, the aircraft would realize that the nose wheel landing doesn't work, we would get a warning. So the aircraft essentially is going step by step through its own checklist to ensure that we are going to have a safe landing. But what else happens when you put the gear down? Well, when you put the gear down, the flight control laws shift into the landing configuration. So that means there's a change in how the aircraft responds to your inputs on the side stick. Also, the aircraft automatically arms the ground spoilers. So if you've forgotten them, at this point it doesn't matter anymore. The aircraft will arm them for you and when you touch down, they will deploy. On the ECAM display, of course, we get the landing gear down memo. So that basically shows us that the landing gear is down. The pressurization system starts to bring the cabin altitude towards the ground level. So essentially what that means, the, the cabin will depressurize and equalize the pressure inside the cabin to the outside. And that way, you know, everything is getting ready for the landing and all this happens when you move this one lever from up to down. So let's sum up what we've learned today. Well hopefully you've learned something today. When you move this lever from up to down a lot more happens than just for the gear to go down. You're actually commanding the aircraft to start a full cycle of checks to ensure that the landing you're about to perform is safe. 
like I said, it's now going to check the alternate braking system, switching between the two systems, making sure that everything is safe and that you have a backup should the braking system fail. You can see it here now. It is wiggling the nose wheel to make sure that the nose wheel steering is working and then it will do some other things like pressurizing or depressurizing the cabin uh, depending on the equipment you have the emergency lights will come on the seatbelt lights will come on the speed brakes will be armed all that stuff is happening all in the background so to me this is one of the things that i really like about the a320 because it shows what a clever aircraft it actually is you may think certain things look very simple on the surface but the engineers that built this aircraft clearly thought long and hard about how to make it as safe as possible and uh, the aircraft is really checking everything before each landing to make sure that once we're on the ground everything is nice and safe and again if any of these checks would fail you would get a warning we would probably perform a go around and then work the problem and that's really it a uh, short video today but i thought this is quite interesting and i don't think uh, something that's usually discussed in the flight sim community all the stuff that's happening in the background when the a320 does something that on the surface looks very simple Okay, and that's it. Once again, short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, all the best. Bye-bye.